Hey guys, it's Chris. From what they can do with their body parts to some pretty strange behavior, join me as I reveal eight scary things you didn't know about dinosaurs. Number 8. The Apatosaurus tails could break the sound barrier. The species of dinosaur known as the Apatosaurus is arguably one of the most popular and well-known dinosaurs to have ever existed, mainly because of their extremely large bodies, necks, and tails, which led to them being a length of about 75 feet at times end-to-end -end, and weighing up to 23 tons in spots. Due to their size, the Apatosaurus were very prominent leaf eaters and could reach the tallest trees without much effort. Dr. Nathan Marvold believes that they had a relatively hidden talent that isn't talked about much. Mainly, they could flick their tails like a whip, even going so fast as to break the sound barrier. He believes this is possible based on the bones and joints within the tails of said creature, noting that there was a lot of potential and proof via fossil remains for this technique to be done. What's more, he felt that there wasn't the need for much energy to make this happen with their tails. And just so we're all on the same page, to break the sound barrier, you must reach a speed of 770 miles per hour. But what purpose would the tail cracking have been for? In Mirvold's mind, it was not used to attack or defend themselves, but rather to attract mates. Number 7. One of the most popular dinosaurs wasn't actually a dinosaur. History is often corrected based on new information. And when it comes to the dinosaurs, this happens more often than one might think. And to do this, many creatures from the age of dinosaurs are lumped in with dinosaurs, despite them not really being dinosaurs at all. And one of the most famous ones is the pterodactyl, or the pterosaur. These winged creatures are feared in numerous dinosaur stories, including the legendary and somewhat infamous Jurassic Park series, which is why most people consider them dinosaurs, but they're not. They're reptiles, winged reptiles even but they're not dinosaurs. No dinosaur species that is known of today could fly. This was determined via the genetics of the creature. Dinosaur is any creature that's a descendant of the groups known as Saurischia and Ornithischia. And while there are birds in those groups, they're not connected to the pterosaur. In terms of lineage, they're more connected to birds than reptiles, and thus the classification is much different. Further proof of this can be found in their bodies, where their bone, skin, and layout of parts is far different than any other dinosaur. Number 6. There were more herbivores than carnivores. Due to the popular nature of dinosaurs in fiction, especially the glamorization of dinosaurs like the T-Rex, there's a belief that the vast majority of dinosaurs were meat eaters, when in fact there were more herbivores than carnivores in the ancient days of the world. This has to do with a very simple rule of nature known as equilibrium. Simply put, the higher up the food chain you go, the more of the bottom layers there need to be in order to feed properly the creature that's above it. So in dinosaur terms, there needed to be fields of grass and flowers to feed the herbivore known as the Triceratops. But then it would only take one or two Triceratops to feed a T-Rex over the course of its entire lifetime. If there were more meat eaters than plant eaters in the world of dinosaurs, it would have caused a great imbalance, and many ecosystems would have suffered. All told, it's estimated that 65% of all dinosaurs were herbivores, and 35% were a mix of carnivores and omnivores, meaning that they ate both meat and plants. However, it's also believed that the fossils that have been found of dinosaurs prove that there were likely even more herbivores than we expected. Number 5. T-Rexes had an enhanced sense of smell. When it comes to the king of the dinosaurs, most people believe that to be the T-Rex. And just as many people believed that the T-Rex was a brute on the hunt for prey, and it would use its massive body, which could be over 40 feet at times, and its impressive power, which is said to be strong enough to crush diamonds, to overpower just about anything in its way. All of which is true to a certain extent. However, the T-Rex wasn't just a brute. It was an apex predator, and one that used its senses to their fullest. What gets lost in the intimidation factor of the creature is that both its eyes and its nose as well as certain other senses, were very, very powerful. Its eyes, for example, were very coordinated and worked in conjunction with its head to detect any visual movement. Their hearing would allow them to detect low-frequency sounds, such as the rustling of leaves or the movement of feet on the ground. That way, they could follow prey wherever they went. And their noses were fused with their skull, but done in a way that didn't inhibit them from smelling things from long distances, such as the smell of a dead body of an animal 
or other indicators that prey might be nearby. Number 4. Mammals Fought Back Against the Dinosaurs In all phases of the world, there are dominant species of animals, and there are ones that are dominantly prey. In the time of the dinosaurs, it would be easy to believe that no creatures outside of dinosaurs could stand up to them. That does not mean, however, that others didn't fight back. There were mammals in the age of dinosaurs, and while they often couldn't compete with their size and strength, there were special cases where they weren't afraid to fight back and even kill dinosaurs they came across. The best example of this was the Repinomammus, a carnivorous mammal that existed about 130 million years ago. Its fossils have mainly been found in northeastern China, and when they were uncovered, they often found baby dinosaurs in its belly. This is impressive for numerous reasons, not the least of which is that the Repinomammus only grew to about 3 feet in length at times, which is hardly the biggest thing around, but it was also bigger than certain dinosaur species such as Cetacosaurus, which were the species found in the stomach of said Repinomamus. What's more, it was discovered that the mammal dismembered the dinosaurs and then devoured it in chunks. Number 3. The Dinosaurs Evolved Into Giant Creatures When picturing dinosaurs, most will think of the massive Apatosaurus, T-Rex, Stegosaurus, and more. Ones that had lengths in the dozens of feet, but in the earliest days of the dinosaur, this was not the case. The dinosaurs first appeared in the Triassic Age, but when they did, they were hardly the biggest creatures around. At the time, life was just returning to land after a long time in the sea, where marine life was very dominant and large. Because of this, many small land animals appeared, including mammals and the first dinosaurs. But their sizes were small, such as the Coelophysis, who were small dinosaurs from that era that were at most 6 feet long. A far cry from the 40 feet that the later T. rex would have, among others. And the reason their sizes grew is due to simple evolution. As time went on and certain extinction events happened, the larger animals of the world at the time died out, allowing the dinosaurs to quite literally rise up and become something much more dominant. By the Jurassic period, they became the dinosaurs that most people reference now. Number 2. Certain dinosaurs were really fast. When it comes to hunting or fleeing a predator, the need for speed is paramount. And when it came to the dinosaur world, many of them had speeds that would often surprise those who viewed them. For example, the mighty T-Rex had a lumbering body and could weigh up to 14 metric tons at times. Yet there is a great debate about how fast it could run. Some estimate that the apex predator could run at up to 40 miles per hour, if not faster. However, due to lack of evidence, it's not clear-cut that this was the case. The species known as Ornithomemidae was another fast creature of the dinosaur age. However, they looked less like actual dinosaurs and kind of more like modern-day ostriches. However, much like the ostrich, which is the fastest land bird in the world today, they knew how to use their legs to get out of situations so much so that they've been estimated to run at about 43 miles per hour. Finally, the Carnotaurus was a rather large dinosaur, about 30 feet in length, and it seemed almost bred for fast speed due to its massive thighs and lightweight frame. Its thighs made up about 15% of its body weight, and they were able to withstand the force of pounding the ground and doing certain movements while running. Its top speed was around 35 miles per hour. Number 1. There are likely more dinosaurs to be discovered. If you were to ask how we know dinosaurs exist, well, the obvious answer would be to point to all the fossils that have been found of the creatures over the many years of human life. These fossils are the texts that help scientists fill the libraries of what the world of dinosaurs were like. But by that very token, we acknowledge that we still know very little about the world of dinosaurs, because not every dinosaur left a fossil. In terms of numbers, millions of fossils have been found in the Earth with many more still waiting to be discovered. However, the process of fossilization itself is rare in creatures, and only a certain amount ever undergo the transformation that leaves them as bones in the ground. What's more, the process of fossilization often leaves the bones or other parts of the dinosaur broken or altered, which means that they can be misidentified or misconstrued as something else. Not unlike how the Velociraptor species were once felt to be very tall, like they were presented in the Jurassic Park movies, when in fact they were the size of chickens. So given all that, even with the wide range of fossils and proof that many different species of dinosaur existed, the possibility of new dinosaurs being out there waiting to be discovered 
or there having been dinosaurs we'll never even know about, well, it's all very valid. Thanks for watching. What did you think about these relatively unknown facts about dinosaurs? Which ones were you really impressed by? Which ones kind of shocked you the most? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on World List.